name is Lee and this is a third video about interesting language facts and ideas based on the information that I've found, that I've collected so far. So I'm going to continue uh, after the second video. So, hmm, well let's talk about uh, dialect stuff. Dialect stuff, well, and this is very interesting. Um, actually, this this came to my mind. This idea did, uh, come to my mind after talking with my boyfriend about like a diet list stuff. Like, let's say, can I can I say? Well, I feel confused by this one. Can I say that uh, Boston accent is like Boston dialect? I don't know. I'm not sure. So just I'm gonna say just a just a dialect. So, well, Boston lang Boston dialect still uses same alphabet, same English alphabet, and has the same words, but ha but has a different accent from English. Let's say uh, American English accent, right? So it's more about like accent stuff. So I feel kind of confused whether I should call that um, a dialect or just like Boston accent. But in comparison to that, like in current language, there are, uh, I'm going to bring two dialects, which are Gyeongsang dialect. Uh, there's a dialect uh, that is used by people who live in Gyeongsang province. And, and there is another dialect which is interesting, and that is a Jeju uh, dialect. A Jeju dialect is a dialect that is used by uh, some people who live in Jeju Island, Jeju native. Well, recently, recently it hasn't been uh, like used much. Only like a few, pe I think like a few people, few Jeju people use that for some reasons, like such as. Um, uh, Jeju uh, this island, by the way, Jeju Island, um, has been like, uh, like improved. Not that's not an improved thing, but uh, it's been uh, like industrialized. Kind of industrialized by tourism and stuff. So there's a lot of tourists. So in that Jeju dialect, there's uh, been. Uh, many changes has been made in the dialect, so like more like a standardizing. So only few few people use the Jeju dialect these days, I think. But just I would say I'm gonna make a comparison and that to Boston Boston dialect in uh, with some aspects. So let's. First, start with Gyeongsang dialect. Gyeongsang dialect is very interesting, and here are some examples from Gyeongsang uh, dialect. Um, <laughs> here's what I found from Wikipedia relate to a uh, linguistic example. Big example. <laughs> so. Okay, here's a sentence. For example, Kaga Kaga And second example Kaga Kaga ga. So <laughs> basically it's so same alphabet. I mean same syllables. It's not alphabet I think. Same syllables. But the difference between the two sen two sentences is like for first sentence, uh, only four s same syllables used. But when it comes to second sentences, five same syllables used, and the syllable it's ga. Right. So the difference is just only the number of the number of the syllables and the. A uh, syllable, it's all, it's all saying. So, but, obviously, 
the sentences, the meaning of the two sentences are different, which is very. It's not just like, just different. It's very different. The first sentences that I've said, gaga gaga. <laughs> it's like it's just amazing. It's like it even is like hmm. What 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 does it mean? Uh, that person went away. But when it comes to the second sentence, which is kaga kaga ga. Uh, no, I feel I'm even me confusing because I I I right now I live in Gyeongsang province, but I have I I haven't used that because like this 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 dialect has been used like around like decades ago, or I think like decades ago, but it's still used like for uh, all the generations who live in Gyeongsang province. So anyway, let me uh, restart it again. Oh, uh, this is really hard. Um. No, I think like I just fucked up. Just I, I'm not gonna try it. I can't try it. <laughs> it's very diff. It's very difficult. But anyway, the point is, I'm not going to. I, I'm not going to like make any examples because it's really confusing and I cannot remember right now. So anyway, the point is, it's using like a, It's using the same syllables, but um, the meaning it's. Different only because of the tones, only because of the tones. Not as uh, no, I think the number is not important in here, but it's like a because it, it, it's because of the tones. The tones make it different. The tones make meanings different, which is crazy. Because like uh, then my question is oh, okay. Then then why uh then why don't you um just uh, make difference uh by by changing the by changing the uh, syllables, them syllables themselves, not because of tones, because that is freaking confusing, and freaking confusing. And well, since the tones are uh, kind of subjective, uh, tones are very different. There's not like, certain things in the tones. Uh, I mean, no certain things. It's kind of uncertain. But uh, if they make a make a specific uh, uh, um, using uh, use specific syllables, then then the hearers can identify that easily. But why you want to like rely on intent? I I personally I assume that a. Uh, that the that type of a dialect developed it unlike a uh, Korean standard language because of the uh, uh, yeah, like unique uh, Gyeongsang I Gyeong, Gyeongsang province identity because like when it comes to Gyeongsang uh, province identity, uh, they are very, uh, they are very um, hierarchical. I think then like the people who live in like a northern area such as like in China or Seoul. So I I feel like probably because of that. Hmm. Anyway, that was interesting. But I felt like that's kinda ineffective from my perspective because I personally believe that uh, language like because language is not just a language language uh, language when language is used uh, for a communication in in a situation where more than like two more than two interlocutors are involved then and they need to be kind to one another because I see something then I want you understand easily not like a feeling uh feeling like oh Oh my God! What the? What she's talking about? Oh, the ton. This is the. This is ton. This uh, is she? What she talking about? Or is is that like uh, what he's talking about? No, I don't like that. Like I don't. I don't want um, um, uh, my audience to feel confused by my words. Just I want to be like a kind and to be kind. I think 
is saying something specifically and clearly and kind of slowly. Well, well, like how slow? Uh, it uh, depends on um, speakers, though, because like in in case they can understand my language easily, then uh, I can speak kind of like more like fluently and like more fast. But when it comes to the speakers who cannot understand my language easily, then I can speak kind of slowly, slowly and more like more like clearly, so that they can understand, like they can follow me, catch up, catch up with me, because I want to communicate. I am. I have responsibility as a speaker. I don't want that person who I'm talking with isolated from this conversation because I'm not doing monologue, but I'm having a conversation. So, so, I'm more into like a like language. Relied. I mean, language relied language. Like, does it make sense? I think it doesn't make sense for me. <laughs> like a form relied language more than like a body language or like the language that relies on the tones and the moods and the atmospheres. Because that is uncertain. There's no certainty. Like a they like a depend on the mood and they laugh, but I don't know why they laugh because. Because that interpretation depends on um, uh, individuals. So since because because of that difference, uh, there's no certain things unlike a unlike a language relied language. So, yep, this is what I found interesting. Okay, so I'm going to stop uh, at here. And I'm going to unload this video soon. Hmm. And that was fun.